play Thriller in the Villa because that must have been quite something. Tell me about it. That yeah, that scary. was our um, our biggest gig yet in terms of audience size. So it was quite scary, but it was quite good. It was, yeah. good, it was a good atmosphere. Were you in the ring? No. <laughs> that we would be we cool. wish. That would have been yeah, very cool. Been great. It was You're spooky, though. Can yeah. Just explain, Ben, for those that don't know what Thriller in the Villa is. Um, lots of locals um, punching each other in a boxing <laughs> ring to prove who's the hardest. Uh, and also Ramsey v. Douglas. Um, of course, it's a charity event. Don't oh, and also that, it's, a, it's a big charity fundraiser for Rebecca House. It's probably the main thing about it. <laughs> Which is a fantastic uh, uh, charity, a really good charity. Um, so you, so, but you didn't play in the ring. That's just, I think that would have been amazing. So you played on the Villa Marina Royal Hall stage, did you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's cool, isn't it? What, how did you find that experience? Well, that was a first for me. You, you guys have played previously. Many years ago, yeah. yeah. Oh, it was scary. It was you look yeah. out and you see all the <laughs> the big bright lights and um, like the multiple stands of crowd, but they were pretty good, especially yeah. the top deck. They were really good. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'd do it again. Hopefully, they'll have us again next year. Well, speaking of, we do need to find out. Obviously, we've talked about the gigs you're going to be doing off island. Uh, what about gigs back on island then? With I know obviously Nathan Corey away at the moment. Are they coming home for holidays? Are you going to get a chance to squeeze yeah. in any gigs in? We'll be back about december the 20th and we'll be straight on applebee's christmas do <laughs> love it <laughs> um but we're gonna do an originals gig at cool bar in ramsey which is quite a new venue and it's really good in there it's got like lighting and smoke machines and they'll, mi- they'll mic everything up and pa system so it, it's really good for the other man is this this is underneath the mitre is it yeah it's shuna bar yeah so um, it's the, the former schooner bar yeah so um so that's do you know, what date's that at do you know December 28th, and we've got two supports. We'll have Sunset Jet and a Stone's Throw, who are from Ramsey. Oh, I don't know and Stone's Throw. Tell uh, me about them. They're some pretty funky dudes. Um, I met them the other week. I went to go uh, busy body at Cool Bar and meet the owner <laughs> and uh, a Stone's Throw, but they play like quite chill stuff. Uh, you Maybe a bit, a bit stonery, you know, <laughs> goes with the name. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. And and you you played with Sunset Jet a few times before, haven't you? You guys seem to have a good kind of gigging relationship on the go, Charlotte. Yeah, they're, they're great guys and um, they're good to play with. Like we're quite similar, I suppose, on the island. So it's good to play with like-minded bands that, yeah, it's a good atmosphere. And you were all part of this a big originals night at Quid's Inn not too long ago. How did that go down? Because we were saying at the start, Ben, how, you know, sometimes it's difficult to get a, a response to originals music over here. That was the hottest gig I've ever played. Um, <laughs> Quite literally. <laughs> yes, you can see a big vein popping on my neck on the videos. <laughs> it was really hot in there. But it was pretty packed as well. Maybe that's why it was so hot. But when we played like the two songs we had out at the time, or was it just one? I don't know. Okay. Either way, the crowd were like singing it with us. Wow. And that was a really good taste of being an actual band and uh, really excited to do more stuff like that. It feels to me like your music would go down a treat at festivals, Charlotte, because there's a lot of kind of sing-along choruses. It's all feel-good. It feels like you bring the summer out when you hear these songs. Yeah. Have you got a plan to do any festivals? Um, we are looking at possibly doing some festivals next year, so we're just very much sort of at the planning stage right now. Um, we have locked in one city festival gig in Glasgow. Um, I don't think we can announce that just yet, as we've not actually been announcing the lineup yet, but it's quite exciting. And that'll be in February. No, sorry, first of March next year. Fantastic. So that could be the start of, you never know, like a whole summer of, of festival gigs, which would be amazing. Um, we're going to hear the new single in just a moment, but tell us about any more sort of singles recordings, what what your plans are for music to get out there to the world, Ben? Um, we're going to keep recording singles. You'll probably see quite a lot out of us in 2020. And we're thinking about doing an EP, so we'll put them all onto a four or five track uh, small album but not an album that's, that's an EP to anyone who doesn't know and um, yeah we'll, we'll take it as it comes and try our best and keep recording trying hard, we're going to move to Manchester to record some stuff in April with uh, the bass player from a band called The Cover Sets The Cover Sets I always do that, <laughs> we'll find out um, but yeah we'll, we'll see how it goes Exciting times and I have to say I talked about this a lot when it first came out. 
I loved the video that you did for Ride the Wave. I thought it was so much fun with the condiments and everything. Who came up with all those ideas for that? It was a bit of a, a mixture. A lot of them were made up on the spot. The condiments, I think, was originally my idea. And I told Ben and then it kind of developed and we were just sort of brainstorming and went from there. But it was very random. A lot of the ideas were thought of on the day of filming. It was like, oh, it's sunny. What are we going to do? Let's just get something done. It's rare, the rare sunny day of the Isle of Man and we're like a surf pop band. So we had to take that and run with it. <laughs> and run with it you did. And it's a really good video. If you've not seen it yet, do go and see it. Right. I am so excited to play this. Uh, ahead of its release, you have this brand new single. Um, who wants to tell me about Psych Beach then? Go on, Ben. Oh, boy. Um, well, I was asked in an interview recently what two words that I use to describe this song, and I said, sunshine hysteria. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. So you're going to get a bit of traffic, and then you're going to get a big bit of laser. <laughs> Tropics and laser, yeah. that sums it up brilliantly. Well, we're going to hear it right now. Uh, just remind people again, Charlotte, where they can find all the information they need to about Voodoo Bandits. So we're on all the social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, we're on all the music platforms, all the main ones, Spotify, Apple Music. Wherever you get your music from, we'll be there. And of course, just Google us and you'll find us. And all the information will be about those gigs as well that are going to be in December here on the Isle of Man. Shout out to the, the members that aren't here though, Ben, before we hear the single. I'd like to shout out to Corey and Nathan. Um, it's a shame you couldn't be here, but we'll see you in Manchester. And let's smash it, lads. Yay! <laughs> and shout out to Nicole uh, in Berlin. And a shout out to Carl from Ramsey. <laughs> All over the world, pretty much. Uh, thanks so much for being with us, Ben and Charlotte. Uh, Nathan and Corey, we've missed you, but we'll see you next time around. This is the brand new single, Voodoo Bandits. First play, this is Psych Beach. <laughs> 